Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, congratulations, Kaiser Chiefs. I think it was a, it is a very important win. Um, coming into this game after we, we played Amazulu, the turnaround period was very short, but I think uh, we kept our players focused coming into this game. Uh, we did what needed to be done in terms of uh, freshness, physical freshness. Uh, but uh, you could see even today um, the quickness and the speed from uh, from uh, Stelis whenever they are in possession we had to deal with and I think uh, um, the players, the boys, the team did very well to keep the structure and I think uh, we need to congratulate uh, Brendan uh, Peterson for the good work, uh, the good shield that he had to put in today. He kept us in the game and the offensive players also are, are credited for them taking their chances and scoring goals. So we are happy that uh, we scored the goals and we did not concede, and we have got uh, six points in the game. Thank you, Coach. We'll take questions from the floor. Coach, good luck. Um, just, just one question uh, to the second question in the club. It looks like there is a game of the uh, the preseason and, and today's match. There, there seems to be some cohesion. I'm looking at the, the in front, Potsane, um, Dupree, you look in the midfield, you look at the, something that is cooking out there. Is this something that you'll be working on during the week? And is it a pre-season thing that is coming up now? I think the most important thing in a game of football, you can do whatever tactical work at training. Uh, you can do whatever physical work at training. But the most important thing I think for us was uh, more of a mental strength in terms of where we come from. When you, when you talk of our tactical understanding, uh, like I said, you can work on anything at, at training, but uh, the biggest test will be taking that into the game. And I think uh, we can see um, the boys are improving. We are improving as a team in possession, out of possession. And we are also looking very good uh, during transition moments. Whether we are, defend, we are defending a transition or we are, we are in a type of a transition, I think uh, over time we'll, 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 have, we'll get to where we are, we are heading in terms of uh, that individual uh, confidence and also that uh, tactical understanding of the team in possession and opposition. And also, I think I need to add in terms of our set place. Uh, we are now scoring goals from the set place, which is also um, a way of winning games. If you can't win the game during open play and you have drilled and worked very hard on your set place, the mentality, the aggression that is needed, the technical execution works out and then you'll be able to score these important goals. So coach, just following up on that, do you feel you've turned a corner now? I mean, after understandably first month of the season, everybody settling in, a lot of new faces, including yourself. Do you feel that the corner's been turned now, that this is a sort of a, a juggernaut that's back on the tracks? <laughs> I think it's a long way to go uh, because we are talking of a, of a marathon and I think we have just played a few games and in the few games there are those baby steps that we are taking in terms of uh, tactical understanding. Um, if you look at our, our back four, uh, two new players that have started since we, we started playing uh, as a team and I think uh, if you look into the middle field there is that understanding that is developing between uh, Yusuf Mart and Atsin Castillo and then you go up front uh, there is uh, more of understanding in terms of the selection of, of, of passes the type of passes the type of runs whenever we are in possession so we'll always go back and uh, correct where, wherever we needed to correct but I think uh, there is a very good progress that we are taking uh, from from the past games we have played my concept is first of all since you've mentioned that therefore the absence of specific social is there an update on him? Is he injured or something? Yeah, no, we, we, we needed to rest uh, some of the players because they've been playing back-to-back -back matches. So I think uh, the management of the players was very important. Even today, we had to rest uh, uh, some of the players, uh, not necessarily to weaken the team, but to strengthen the team because the energy levels, you could see that uh, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were getting depleted. And all the players that played today, uh, whoever was on the pitch, I think uh, he did a very good job uh, in terms of uh, our our game plan and also winning the game, which is a confidence booster going into the next game. So those that were on the bench, even those that uh, we left them um, in Johannesburg, uh, they know that uh, what is expected of, of them whenever we have to play the next game. Um, Joshua, don't you think the squad is made to play counter-attack in football because it is 
they can sit to you guys, eat the same thing, and today you did the same. They didn't really dominate the pool, but you still won the game at the end of the day. A counter attack, it is not necessarily a tactical plan that you, you work on at training to say, I'm going to play counter attack. Um, it is also de dependent on the approach of the opponents uh, in terms of their shape in possession, their shape out of possession, and what are the areas uh, that you have to look into whenever you regain possession. If they create spaces in the middle, if they create spaces on the side or behind the, the defensive line, how you take advantage of that? I think uh, uh, when it comes to uh, the ball possession uh, that uh, maybe you're looking at, um, ball possession also comes from um, the quality of the opponents that you're playing with. Because if they apply high pressure, you need to be very quick on the ball. You need to be able to see situations ahead. And if you want to think on the ball, then you are likely to, to, to have too many turnovers. And the turnovers will obviously result into, into counter-attack. Today, we played against a team that is also very good with counter-attacks. We had to be very cautious in possession and out of possession because uh, they've got very quick players going forward. So we are very cautious in terms of uh, our ball possession, in which areas of the field we were to keep the ball. Hayden from Kickoff, um, could you just provide us with a couple of words on the two goal scorers? Um, how impressed were you with the first goal and then Christian Saeed also, he seems to be making a huge impact for you coming off uh, from the bench. I think uh, the most important thing is um, the drills and the work that you have put into our offensive players. Um, they understand the demands, they understand the movements, they understand what technical execution you have to, to make in terms of you getting goals. Uh, if you look at the first goal, it was uh, coming from the side, coming inside with combinations. And in most cases, when that happens, the defenders are moving. And I think it was a very good decision for him to execute uh, and, and be able to, to score that goal. As for Christian, Christian is a, is a very vibrant type of a player. He's always looking to score. That is why even when today he scored, uh, he came to the bench to celebrate with the bench because uh, I think um, he's, um, he's, a, he's a goal scorer. And any striker, if he scores goals, that's what makes him to feel good about himself. And I think uh, that's what uh, um, Ashley did last week. That's what Christian did today. That's what uh, Mori did uh, last week. And if you look at our goals, it's a combination of our offensive play leading to a goal to be scored. I did, Coach Stacey. Um, Chris from Disky Fans. Um, Coach, uh, a lot has been said about your, your squad, your player as well. Um, today, our national coach said that none of your players deserve to be called up to your national team. Um, does that demotivate your squad? Or is, what, what is your thoughts regards to that? I think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a decision by the national team coach. Uh, you know, we can't question him because we don't know what he's looking for in the player because he's never given us a template to say for one to be in the national team, these are the requirements. So if ever he doesn't feel like uh, we, we deserve to have players in the national team, it's just unfortunate. But we are very motivated because uh, we have to work hard and to show uh, everybody and ourselves that we have got the quality in the team. So we'll start with the last three questions. Uh, Coach David from Edeski Times, congrats on the win. Um, Pula Modi is scoring important goals for you. He obviously had a family setback in the beginning of the season. How have you helped him you know, to, to overcome that and to, to get to this form that he's showing now? It is all about the club. The club has got uh, services that are provided to the players to help them on the mental side of things. And I think uh, uh, the team did very well in terms of helping uh, with the bereavement that he, he, he experienced. And I think he's a very strong, very... Um, a uh, strong person as an individual, uh, where he comes from, he comes from a family where he will always get the support because we visited the family and then we could tell that uh, there is enough support uh, when it comes to him as a, as a footballer. Like I said, even from the club, from the players, from the technical team, we have been there for him uh, in supporting him through his difficult times. Uh, I know you're going to do an MTN press A, but it's for the yeah. Joburg guys. So would you mind just giving us some thoughts on Saturday's game against Sundown? Yeah, now we are going into the first leg, uh, which will be uh, a very tough one uh, because it's a cup game. Uh, but I think uh, when you look back in terms of uh, how we've been performing, uh, the team is ready. It is just uh, for us to do a proper analysis and look into our strengths. And our strength in this case has to, to come out on Saturday uh, in terms of the individual players we have in the team, in terms of the team as a whole. I think uh, we are looking forward to it. Um, unfortunately, uh, when you look at our back-to-back -back matches, 
we don't have any recovery days. Uh, you're flying out and then arrival in Joburg and then only have one training session before we play Sundowns. But I think uh, that is uh, uh, how things are. What is important is for us to be uh, mentally very strong and also uh, to give that belief and confidence in the players that uh, despite whatever, this is one game we have to do well.